Here is another problem that I'd like to call a two-step proportion. Below is a scale diagram of Nancy, one of our teachers. And we can see that this diagram has a 1 to 5 scale. We are selling a Nancy doll, which is a scale model of the real Nancy, as a grad fundraiser. If the doll is 15.5 centimeters tall, what is the ratio of similarity between the doll and the real Nancy? Well, we already know the height of the doll. If we could find the height of the real Nancy, all we'd have to do is put those two numbers together and we would find our ratio of similarity. But we don't know the height of the real Nancy, not yet. We can find the height of the real Nancy using this scale diagram and the 1 to 5 scale. I have to measure the height of the Nancy in the diagram, and when I do that, I get 31 centimeters. So I can take my 1 to 5 scale and I can start building a proportion. 1 ruler over 5 real is equal to, and the 31 centimeters that I got with the ruler goes on the top, ruler over real, and the x goes on the bottom. When I simplify, I get x equals 5 times 31, which means x is equal to 155, and the unit of measure is centimeters because I measured with centimeters. Now we can take the height of the doll, 15.5, and put it over the height of the real Nancy, 155. And we have a ratio of similarity between the doll and Nancy. But this can be simplified, so I will simplify it. The first thing I will do is multiply both top and bottom by 10 to get rid of this decimal in the numerator. And I get 155 over 1550. But the 155 and the 1550 have a common factor of 155, so I can simplify further by dividing both top and bottom by 155, and I get 1 over 10. This means that there is a 1 to 10 ratio of similarity between the doll and the real Nancy. In this case, I only had to do one proportion. And the other step was to build this ratio and simplify it. But the important thing is that I'm able to look at the situation and use reading comprehension and an understanding of both ratio and proportion and the difference between the two to make this complicated looking problem a very easy problem in the end mathematically.